you stupid bastard. Now there is absolutely no denying, and I'd hope we'd all understand, that the vehicle taken full liability in this incident is the HGV. However, that doesn't mean to say you can just plod along in that zone next to an HGV like Miss Daisy. There is absolutely nothing wrong in having a little bit of self-awareness. Empty heads can be capable of that too and realise that you're in a spot that an HGV driver is not going to be able to see you very easily. Now obviously we haven't seen the before footage to understand why exactly the HGV is in lane 3 but if that car has come up the near side of the HGV and is then sitting in that spot next to their cab that is a very silly thing to do. For the same reason that I'll never let my girlfriend follow me up a flight of stairs, you should never sit dawdling next to an HGV. You should always have an escape plan, because if something goes wrong, you could get bloody squashed. If I ever find myself alongside an HGV, I'm always making sure that I can get ahead of it very quickly, or I can drop back just in case a situation arises where something might go wrong. If you click the link to the original upload, you can see in the text that the original uploader to the internet has mentioned that the red car was sitting alongside the HGV in their blind spot for quite a long time. Not a wise thing to do. Ultimately, as we said at the start, the lorry driver, the HGV driver, is completely responsible for the collision, but don't go sitting in their blind spots. You might get squashed. Lovely jubbly, sound as a pound.